Hello, hello, hello. I am Gefwin. This is obviously Minecraft. Obvious for those of you who've played Minecraft, which I'm assuming is most people in the world. Anyway, I've decided to start a new series. I'm going to do some uh, Minecraft Hardcore. I know, super original. But I have never played Minecraft Hardcore before. I tended to avoid it. I'm not a masochist. I don't I don't play the masochistic game type all that often. Uh, I've enjoyed some. I was playing some Don't Starve a few months ago and I enjoyed that. And then I've been having so much fun with... Uh... Ooh, what's going on? I've been having so much fun with my Star Made Minecraft crossover builds. I figured let's play some Minecraft and I'll get some inspiration going. Alright, in the middle of a jungle. Uh, that's actually kind of a good start for for surviving, because jungles are all full of these trees and places to hide from creepers. I know that a creeper is just going to come kill me. Ooh, I got seeds. Got seeds already. Good start, good start, good start. Let's see if I can get up to the top of this tree. Oop, I like to get up to the top of these jungle trees and punch my way down. Because then I can get all the wood. I just like getting all of the wood. All of it. Then maybe I'll kill me a chicken. This is enough wood to make a workbench, and then I can kill a chicken. One of the things that gave me this idea is I was watching last night's South Park. If anybody hasn't found that, you should go over to South Park Studios and find it as soon as it's up because it's all about teaching adults to play Minecraft. And adults don't understand this game. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm like 27, by the way, so I shouldn't understand this game. I'm an, an adult. I never felt like an adult. I never liked the idea of being an adult. You can be not an adult until you say you are. Not an adult until you admit defeat. Oh, chicken. Give me that chicken. Okay, there's a chicken. Let's get this one. Yeah, I know I could wait around for them to give me eggs as well, but I don't know. I don't think that's as useful somehow. Now I need to find some place to set up camp. I like to try to get to the top of some of these trees sometimes when I'm in a jungle, make a little tree fort. I feel like that might be a good strategy for surviving in hardcore. Except I'm going to fall out of the tree. I just know I'm going to do something really stupid like walk off a cliff or not notice the creeper sneaking up on me and it's just going to be over so quickly. There's some chocolate. Definitely need that. Food is a high priority. Definitely need some food. There we go. And that chocolate's still there. More food. I need to explore around because I can't just stay in the jungle. I need to find some light. There's no coal seams that I'm seeing around here in the jungle. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show it at the beginning of the video, but I turned on large biomes, so getting out of this jungle is going to be a pain. It's going to be such a pain. I'm going to be wandering through this jungle forever. Maybe I'll find a jungle temple. That would be nice. That would be nice. I could actually uh, just re-rig, re re-rig. I could re-rig all the traps and and lose my train of thought. That's what I could do. Yeah, I could re-rig all the traps and uh, set up my home base in the jungle temple. And then I would be able to... Then I'd be able to sit there and be defended by all the traps of the jungle temple. Oop, I see some in the ocean. And here's a different biome. Yes, so... There's some squids. Here's a nice little... Oh, lake, not an ocean. Is that an ocean over there? It might be. Okay. We're going to do something stupid, because we're in hardcore. We Splish. Okay, good. Didn't kill me. Thought it might. Was totally convinced I was going to mistime that jump, and it was going to kill me. So setting up home base somewhere around here wouldn't be too bad. I'm right next to the jungle, so there's a lot of resources. But then I'm right next to what kind of looks like a plains biome. I'll get a better look at it in a minute. And the plains biome would be nice. Whoa, canyon. 
There's a ravine, there's some coal in that ravine. And this lake seems to empty into the ravine. That is... Okay, that's just... That's just sweet. Look at that. That is amazing. I think I'm gonna have to... Bye-bye, chickens. Oh, there they go. Bye-bye. Silly chickens. Okay, this ravine is... Wow, I've never seen a lake that spawned entirely on top of a ravine. But I am in hardcore mode, so I cannot afford to sit around and look at the scenery. Yeah, this looks like it might be a plains biome, which means there could be horses. There is a possibility of horses. But since they made a really, in my opinion, really kind of messed up decision to make saddles not a buildable item, hopefully they'll do that the next update. I really hope that they put saddles in as a craftable. Now, I'm okay if it's really, really difficult to craft, but I just want to be able to make as many saddles as I want. Now, I'm, I'm fine if they decide to make it really, really resource intensive. But I don't want to have to explore dungeons just to get a horse. Okay, field of roses. Yeah, I'm, um, <laughs> I've been wandering around too long. It's too idyllic around here. I just want to find some coal that I can access easily. Don't want to risk jumping down into that ravine. Even though I got that water elevator. Uh, still. Oh, I cannot see a thing in here. Is this just a glitch with the lighting? Or what? Uh, did not like that. I hope that's not a... Okay, there's a snow biome. I've got a lot of biomes right here. Really good to set up shop. And coal. There's some coal. Alright. Lots of biomes. Got some coal. Easily defensible islands. This is it. This is it. I think I'm going to set up over by that cave there. And get some coal. I gotta get me some coal. Da 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 da. Alright, let's get over here and scope out these caves. First, I gotta make myself a workbench. Alright, and there's some ravine, there's some caves underneath this as well. We have a house made already. Already got me half a house. Just gotta even it out a bit. And there's some water coming down and some coal and and iron ore. Oh. Yeah, not a bad start. Let's uh, get up here and we'll make our workbench. Forgot which button was my inventory for a second. Jungle wood workbench. Come on. Uh, I have not played Minecraft in some time. Some time. I'm gonna be a little rusty. All right, workbench. Time to make me a pickaxe. Pickaxe. There we go, and wait, yeah, what am I thinking, there we go, wood pickaxe, of plus two something or other, plus two attack damage, yeah, yeah, fear my plus two axe of hitting you with the dude. Let's go get this coal over here. I gotta get me some coal. <laughs> then I might kill a pig. I need to get coal, and I need to get enough stone to make some pickaxes and a furnace. I wanna cook this chicken I've got. <laughs> Never eat raw chicken, alright? Raw chicken is bad for you. Salmonella and things. No matter how delicious you think it is, don't eat the raw chicken. Oh, lots of coal over here. Need to be careful. I'm going to be mining coal. I'm going to not notice it's getting dark. 
and I have to run back to my not even slightly fortified house location. While I wind up walling up for the night, which will be really boring. Boring, 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 boring. Okay. Do -do -do. And, oh, I hear a bat. Did you guys hear that? I thought I heard a bat. I want to be able to tame the bats. I want a little bat pet. Bat pet. Weird water wall. Is that one of those weird water walls? Coal. Coal. More coal. Need so much coal. I will set up a nice safe zone with lots of torches. So I really need to eat. Run into some problems with my food here. My food situation. And it's getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting dark. It gets dark so fast, there needs to be more of a twilight period for some warning. Alright, quickly. Quickly back to the island. Oh, I'm gonna die so fast. First day, there's no monsters. Oh, crud. Zombies. I hear zombies. It's okay, I've got my... I've got my plus two attack axe. It's okay, zombies. Okay. Light everywhere. I want light to be everywhere. Especially since I'm living next to these caves. Oh, where's the zombies? I heard a zombie. Where are they? Where are these zombies? Oh, there's one, it's in the river. Does he see me? Yeah, I think he's coming to get me. Oh, the zombies are coming. The zombies are coming. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, guys. Where's my... Oh, no. Oh, I used up all my, tw all my sticks. Alright. I want more coal. More torches. Then I've got to listen closely because the zombie's going to sneak up behind me while I am building this furnace. Stick and a sword. Sword, 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 sword. Give me the sword. Plus five attack damage. Good, I've got my plus five attack damage sword. Then I've got more torches. I need to be able to see. I don't want anything spawning over here without my knowing. I need to cover this place in torches. I think this may have been a bad place to set up camp. Alright, that'll help. I don't want any spiders dropping down on me. Oh, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Oh, and the zombies here. Come here, Mr. Zombie. Come here. Ah, haha, -ha, got him. Rotten meat. Rotten meat. I don't know what to do with rotten meat. I've never figured it out. Never, ever, ever. Please, please, please tell me what to do with rotten meat if any of you have some sort of clever, like, well, of course, if you if you combine it with chicken under the full moon at 2 a.m. in the morning, you get a special golden zombie meat item that banishes all zombies in the area or something. Sounds more like, uh, oh, chainmail zombie. Chainmail zombie. I'm still surprised. I have not played enough since the update that gave them items. And I played for a bit, but sometimes I just play on peaceful because I like to do some of the building. So I haven't seen so many item carrying enemies. Still freaks me out a little. Alright, let's get some, since I got the furnace going, let's make a stone pickaxe and go down there and get that iron. Then I also am going to need... Uh oh. I hear a zombie, where is he? Whoa! No, 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 go away! Go away! Oh no, he snuck up on me. Okay, got that one. 
Got that zombie. Okay. It's okay. Since I'm starving. So hungry. Let's see. Let's get some of that uh, chicken. Cooked chicken. Eating is going to be a problem. Best place to store food is in your tummy. Can't eat raw chocolate. Dang. Alright, I've got sugar cane. I'm going to run down to the water here and plant the sugar cane. No, plant my sugar cane. Okay. Got my sugar cane. Now I want to find that iron that I know is down here. I'm going to fill this place up with torches. I don't want anybody spawning in these caves below me. Alright, that water will push them away if they do try to spawn in here. Oop, where are they? I heard him. I heard one. I'm going to have to go kill all those pigs that I saw. All those pigs over there. I'm going to have to kill a bunch of them so that I can get some more food. Food is going to be a problem, but I've got two seeds, so I'm going to be able to grow some. I'll start some wheat soon. Oh, I just thought of this. I'm on an island, which means that even when daytime comes around, all the zombies are still going to be floating in the water. That may have been a strategic error. I'm not so good with the strategery. You're going to see that. My strategery is horrible. Alright, there's that bat sound again. I don't think it's the same bat because this is a different cave. Oh, great. All my iron fell down there. Uh, yep. So far down there. I'm not going down there. But maybe I'll put a couple of torches. Okay, torch. I said torch. Torch. Torch and torch. Alright. I don't see anything bad, but I don't know how to go down there and then get back up here easily. So I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Okay, let's go back up and start on my next priority, which is a farm. I need to go cut down a bunch of trees and hope I get an apple or something. Alright, so trying to make my hoe was what got me attacked by a zombie last time. And I don't like getting attacked by zombies. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but personally, I don't like having my brains eaten out through my ears. I don't know, it's just a, just a weird quirk of mine. I know not everybody's the same. I respect other opinions, but personally, I don't like being eaten. Alright. There's that. I picked up a couple of dirts. Picked up some dirts. Dirt, and let's get over here. Alright, that's weird, scary music. I don't like that. Alright, and plant my seeds. First step in my wheat farm is complete. And I've got a lot of cocoa from the jungle over there, so I will be rolling in cookies in no time. Unfortunately, oh good, the sun's coming up. Unfortunately, I need to go kill some pigs so I can get enough pork chops to live. I need to be able to heal. I've lost half my health and I have no I have no food. I ate all my food, which is keeping me from starving, but it's not enough to heal. I don't have enough to heal. So I need some bacon. Give me your bacon. I never understood why it's not called bacon. Now unfortunately this is going to make things more difficult later, but I just don't have the time to wait around to grow the wheat to properly breed the pigs and get them all 
Breadified. Who? There's a creeper. He looks like he's in the. Yeah, he's stuck in the water right now. If he's in the water, that's a good time to attack. This is gonna be a mistake. Everyone knows these things explode. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay, and ha! Got him. And I got some gunpowder, I think. Gunpowder, that skeleton is on fire. That's how I like my skeletons. This chicken just dropped an egg. Why is that skeleton not on fire anymore? I'm gonna wait for him to burn up and then go collect his, his corpse. Alright, where'd he die? There's sheep. Excellent. Okay, arrows and an egg. I, I wonder if I no, don't think the skeleton dropped an egg. Yeah. There's a bunch of sheep over here. I can make some shears with that iron I got and get some wool. Do I have enough to make shears? I can't remember. I can't remember how many how many iron you're supposed to have to make shears. Well, so far my little island fort seems to be working okay. If I can get another layer up around the island, it'll really help. I'm really not sure if zombies can attack doors while they're in the water. So I might be able to just put a door kind of at water level for me to get in and out and build up a wall around the island. I still hear zombies. I don't know where they are, but I still hear them. I have a feeling they're down there. I don't know how to get down there easily and get back up. This doesn't appear to go that way. Come on. There we go. Torch. Torch. There's some iron over there, though. Which I need. Need some iron. Lots of iron. Okay, let's dig some of this iron. There we go. Water's always trying to push me everywhere. Thinks it owns the place. I need iron and I need a lot of stone so that I can start building up my defenses. Now I need to go cook all those pork chops. Lots of stone. Defending this place won't be too difficult, actually. Because I picked a nice defensible location. And here's the door to the outside. What's over here? A pit. A giant pit. Alright then. That's good to know. I do not want to go into that giant pit. And let's light up this area, I hear skeletons. And this goes around here and back out to near my house. No, back out to a skeleton. Ooh. And so where's my house? I think it's over here. Is it? I'm lost. I'm already lost. Okay, here we go. That's over that way. Okay, skeleton over there. Let's, if he comes up to try to get me, he's going to burn in the sun. Like a vampire. Vampire skeletons. Okay, then. Let's see. Alright, cook my pork chops. Cook my pork chops. Good. Not going to starve to death quite yet. I should go back to the jungle and get some wooden supplies. I'll see what I can do with my cobblestone. It's mostly I just want to ow. It's not what I wanted to do at all. I just need to build up kind of a... I do want to leave some areas for my growing. Maybe I'll just make a couple of small islands out there actually. So yeah, let's pick these up. Let's just make a couple of little islands to grow things on. That are removed 
from everything so that I can grow without worrying about it being a problem for my defenses. Okay. Sugarcane and sugarcane. The farm is going to be a problem, but I'll deal with that. Oh, there. This should keep the zombies from being able to jump over. Uh, and then I can just uh, take care of them as they come. I want most of the island here to be like this, so two blocks tall next to the water. That way nobody can get up, and then I'll need to leave a small entrance that I can use. Oops. Oh, that doesn't hurt. Um, this side of the island is actually pretty well defended already. I just need to shore up this gap here. Let's get around and see what we got. So this is all like sheer cliff. I just have to make sure that no one can get up if they're over here. Now that's all sheer cliff, which is nice. Add that, that, and there, and now I'm out of stone. I need to get more stone, and oh, well, that could be a small problem. Okay, who thought this was an island? Show of hands. I did, because uh, I'm stupid. This is a peninsula, which is similar to an island, except that it's connected to land on one side. Meaning that it's not at all like an island. An island being any landmass smaller than a continent that is surrounded on all sides by water. And a continent is similarly defined, making it a pretty much useless definition. Okay. But both points are moot because this is neither a continent or an island, it is in fact a peninsula. Right, let's even out some of this. I need to, I kind of want to take care of that hole in the floor that I'm going to fall into. So that seems like a uh, bad thing. Okay. I'm kind of pleased with myself so far. I did not expect to survive my first night. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of that much of a wimp. No, it's not not because I not because I think I'm that bad at the game. I have played this for quite a while. I was on a server back in the day. I did some really awesome huge builds and then well, of course the save file got corrupted. It always happens. It's kind of why I stopped for a while. Well, one of the times I stopped for a while. So you get this you do the huge projects, you spend weeks and weeks doing these things with your friends with whatever and then uh then you like your save file gets corrupted, or they update the world data, or something, and all of a sudden it's almost unusable. Like I know they're trying to fix it, but they're trying to update it and do some nice things. That I got a, I got a nice little valley. Look at my, um, look at my silent tour if you want to see where I'm living on my, on my main world. I'm pretty happy with that. I got a nice little tranquil valley thing going. Well. Uh, I did a I did a tour of it in kind of a silent movie style the other day because I lost my voice for a couple of days. I had to get a little creative with the videos because I couldn't talk. I know most of you probably think that's no tragedy. I can hear you in the comments now, like, ah, you should not talk. You have a horrible voice, blah, blah, blah. Probably racial slurs and things, I don't know. It's so actually so far, everyone who's talked to me on YouTube has been incredibly nice and supportive. So I think I've gotten lucky and have not encountered the horrible person population that exists on the internet quite yet. I don't think I'm popular enough to don't think I'm popular enough quite yet to be worth horrible people going after me. 
Now this is going to be kind of the entrance to my farm, so I'm going to need to try to make this an actual door with defensibleness. So I don't know where the door is going to be. Maybe there. If you put the door up one, the zombies like, can't attack it. They don't know how. I do need to get enough wood for a door. I think I might have enough. I'm going to have enough iron for some shears, which means I'm going to be able to get a... Hmm. I'm going to need a, a couple of doors. I should have enough iron for some shears, which means I can make shears and go get sheep. If I can remember... There we go, I only need two. So let's go get some wool. Then I can use the wool to make a bed. Then I can use a door to block off part of the island. Now I can make a bed, then I can make a little place with my door, and then I can sleep through the night. Which will be great. Then I don't have to worry quite as much about things coming and killing me. Alright. Wool and wool. Wool. And come over here, Wooly. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. I'm not going to sing. You'll, you'll thank me for that later. I'm sure you would thank me for that if you'd heard me sing before. Okay, now I need to get back to my island before something kills me. Which I've made more difficult with my wall defenses. Come on, go round, go round, go round. I'm glad that this is so easy to defend. I'm only going to have to build a big wall on the one side, actually. And then kind of shore up all these holes. So I do have quite a few quite a few holes and caves and things on this uh, peninsula, not an island. I'm going to still be calling it an island for a long time. So I just kind of ingrained it into my head brain that it's an island. Even though it's not an island, clearly not an island. Alright, so let's make... I need to make two things. I need to make a door, and I need to make a bed. It's going to use up so much of my wood. Alright, door and a bed. And then I'll just dig back here. That's where the door will be. And then this is where the bed will be. And now I will be perfectly safe. Get a torch in here. Get my bed in here. Get my bed in here. Get my bed in here. Come on. There we go. Beds are so weird to deal with. Alright, and then I can sleep. Sleep through the night. Alright, that drastically improved my chances for survival. Alright, brand new day. Nothing ate my face. That's two nights gone. I've got a bed. I've got a half fortified peninsula. I'm feeling good about this. I think I'm going to leave this here. Uh, check back for the next episode soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know any comments, suggestions, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. YouTube-y things, words. Uh, I am Gepwin. I will see you soon.